Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to, to be here and sharing with the community today um, and joining this amazing event. So the talk today will be about getting your Python development environment ready with background. So for those who are not familiar with background, and well, this talk will not be about how you can install and configure uh, background before I start using it, but um, it's a tool for building and managing virtual, virtual environments. It works with VirtualBox, Hyper-V, Docker, and VMware as providers. And you can use shell scripts or tools like Ansible, Chef, or Puppet for provisioning your environments. And for, from the list of providers that uh, are listed in, in the slides, you well, I will be explaining how you can use VirtualBox and Docker for, for that. And well, if you are not familiar with virtualization, VirtualBox is one of the most virtual, popular virtualization software. It, work, uh, it has support for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris as whole systems and it has support for uh, ISO and box images. You can install VirtualBox if you are using Linux on any of those Linux distributions or any list, uh, Linux distribution with the version of the kernel in, including 2.6, 3, 4, or 5. You can download VirtualBox from virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads, or you can go directly to the, to the Linux uh, section where you can also uh, find in installation instructions for how to add um, the repository, the official repositories to some Linux distributions. And you can download from the repositories of some Linux distributions, including Arch Base or Debian, Ubuntu, or any distributions based on those operating systems. Also, you can install on Fedora. Boxes are the official package format for background environments, and that's what we will be using um, for configuring our environment. Well, if, you are just, if we are using VirtualBox, if we are using uh, Docker, we will have to create a, a Docker image for that. You can go to any of those uh, sites listed here if you want to download uh, a background box for configuring your environment. You can find instructions on how to configure background for using any of those boxes available there. And as, as we are use, we can use Docker also for um, configuring our environment. Well, it's an open source containerization technology for building and containerizing your applications, and that that's what we will talking about later. You can find installation instructions for. Um, Linux, some of the Linux distributions that are covering the official documentation are those listed here, including Raspbian, that is a Linux distribution for Raspberry Pi. And after installing Docker, um, you have to configure your user, add your user to the Docker group and execute these uh, commands listed here so that background uh, can use Docker and run any command required uh, instead of um, having to write any of those commands manually. Uh, background will be uh, running those commands. Um, as provisioning, we can use shell scripts, but also we can use uh, tools like Ansible, Chef, or Puppet for the 
demos that I will be explaining, I will be using shell scripts, but you can use any of these tools. You can find um, more information in, in the official documentation. For in, installing background, you can download the installer from backgroundup.com slash downloads, or you can install directly from the repository of your Linux distribution. And I'm talking about Linux, uh, as is the um, operating system that I've been using for the last um, decade. But uh, you can also find installation instructions for any other operating system, including Windows and Mac. But uh, the talk is not about that. Uh, later, I will share some um, blog posts that I have published about how you can uh, install and configure background and any uh, of the tools that I'm mentioning. I wrote a detailed uh, blog post about it. If you're on Linux, you can run any of these commands for installing on your Linux distribution. If you are using oh, CentOS or CentOS uh, stream, um, you can run um, this command. You can install uh, background using DNF. And these are some of the basic commands or, or at, least, at least the most that you will be using for configuring and starting your virtual environments. Well, and, and talking about Python, that is what this talk is about. And these are some of the tools that I use, that I use for um, Python projects for managing versions of Python installed in the operating system I use. I, I well, the tool I use for that is PyM. And for managing the dependencies of the project, you can um, use uh, Poetry or PipM. Uh, I will focus this talk on Poetry, that is the tool that I that I use, but um, the configuration will be the same. You, you only have to change the instructions that um, are required for configuring your environment. But for a basic Python development environment, these are the tools that we, that we need, apart from using um, a text editor like like Atom or VS Code, or, or if you prefer um, an open source alternative, you can use the open source version of VS Code. Th that version doesn't include um, the branding of Microsoft and some uh, additional configuration that the company added to, to VS Code. Or, or, you, or if you want, you can also use VS Code for that. But uh, I will focus on the, the first um, tools listed here, Git, uh, PyM, and Poetry. If you are using PipM for managing the dependencies of your project, you have to change the instructions that um, will uh, be running for configuring the, the virtual environment for your Python project. And before I started starting talking about that, uh, in the blog post I, I mentioned uh, where you can find installation instructions for background, VirtualBox, and, and Docker, uh, something that I found out about using Fedora, for example, uh, as um, the operating system for your virtual environment. Um, there was a a problem that I faced when I was configuring for, for testing um, how to install and configure your um, th these tools in well on some Linux uh, operating system. And the problem was that um, when you um, 
configure Fedora for using it with Vagrant. The default configuration assigned 512 megabytes of, of RAM, but for any reason that is not documented, um, the virtual environment with Fedora require at least one gigabyte. So it, it can uh, run uh, correctly without any problem, but uh, that is documented in the blog post I, I mentioned. So let's start with configuring background for Python. First, first of all, we, we have to create a, a directory where the configuration file and any other uh, file that we require for configuring our development environment will be stored. So first we create a a directory that we can name um, Python depth and then change to that directory and create a basic configuration file for, for Vagrant. Uh, for this um, example, I, I will be using the latest version of Debian and the configuration file will look similar to to the one that is in the right of the slide. If you want to use any other distribution, you, you only have to change the, um, the name of the uh, background box that you will be using for configuring your environment. This is a basic uh, background file, the basic configuration that we have to do for, for our environment, but uh, we are not, uh, telling background what are the, the tools and other um, configuration that is needed for, for our environment. And for that, we will be using a shell script for provisioning the, um, the configuration and installing the, the tools that our environment require. And for that, we create a, a shell script that will look similar to the, to the one here. We have to install the dependencies of PyN and Poetry, and then install uh, PyN, configure um, our system, and then install uh, Poetry. So this is the shell script that will work as provisioning a provisioner for our environment. And after that, we have to change the configuration file, adding this line. We have to specify where the shell script is stored. And we have to tell Vagrant that these instructions, the instructions listed here, will not be executed with the, use, the root user Instead, these uh, instructions will be ex executed with the background user. So we have to change uh, the privilege option to, to false. And after that, our virtual environment is ready for using it with uh, any, any Python project that we are working on. There are other options for Configuring uh, our environment, we can use Packer for building a custom background box, or we can use Docker as provider for our environment instead of using VirtualBox. We can create a custom Docker image for that. So, the installation of well, Packer is available for, for Linux and any other um, Linux distribution. But uh, after installing, we have to um, reproduce some of the steps described before. We have to create a, a directory for our environment where the configuration files will be stored and then 
change to that directory. For using Packer, we have to create a JSON file and configuring that file for our environment. I'm using for this uh, example, uh, the latest uh, version of um, well, Ubuntu 20.04, that is uh, the one listed here in the configuration. And we have to specify what the provider will be. In this case, will be VirtualBox. We'll be using VirtualBox for, for this environment and the kind of image that Packer will uh, build, uh, in this case, will be background. And also we have to specify the, the provisioner that we are using for configuring our, our environment. And in this case, will be a shell script that is in this directory. We have to create this directory also and create the uh, shell script that will contain all of the instructions required for configuring our environment. What uh, the instructions are? Well, we have to add, well, uh, we have to add background, uh, the background user to, to the configuration file for two doors in, uh, well, on, on Linux in, in, the, in and then at um, SSH key for authentication. This will be um, a key that will be replaced after initializing our, our environment, but um, we have to create one for a general configuration of, of that. And then install PyM and poetry dependencies install pipe n and configure bash rc and then install poetry these are all of the instructions that are listed here i i, I will also share um gitlab repository where all of these files that are uh, that i've been showing during the presentation uh, are available so you can um, take those files for configuring your own environments so you don't have to uh, capture this manually. So first we add the background user to source, then we, are, we add, we create a, we add a um, SSH key and then install pipe and then point. After creating all of the configuration files, we have, we, tell Packer that it's time to build our custom Bagram box. So we uh, run this command in the Linux terminal or, or in the terminal of any, uh, well, or of the operating system that you are using for, for this. And after that, we, uh, we will have the Bagram box that will be we will be using for our environment and we have to configure background for that. First, we uh, create a background file for telling um, background how to start uh, the environment. We assign a name, in this case it will be Python depth and then add uh, the background box to the configuration of virtual box and after that uh, we initialize our environment and we can uh, log into um, using um, the ssh connection but we also can use docker for well, as provider for for background instead of using instead of using VirtualBox or any other virtualization tool, uh, in this case we can uh, specify the the name 
uh, well, the username and the name of the Docker image as it is hosted in Docker Hub. Or we can also uh, use a Docker file. So background uh, build knows how to build um, the custom Docker image. And for that, we create a directory for our environment. We create a, a Docker file. The Docker file will look similar to, to this one. And well, here um, I'm configuring a, a Bacon user and at adding a, an SSH key to, so that um, when we initialize the Docker container, um, Vagrant can in, log into the, to the server using an SSH connection. And we have to also add the instructions for installing um, Pipe and poetry. And the background file will look similar to, to this. As we are using a Docker file, we have to specify the build directory that will be the same directory where the background file and the Docker file is, are. And that the connection will be through an SSH connection and that the Docker container must be running while we don't execute Bagram HAL for stopping the virtual environment. And after configuring Bagram for, for that, we can um, start our virtual environment and log into the environment using an SSH connection. Something, well, as I mentioned before, we can also use a Docker image hosted on Docker Hub. And for that, we can, we can use a GitLab for building a, a custom Docker image. There's, there's a, a GitLab repository that I created uh, last year uh, for creating a custom Docker image. You can use GitLab CI for that. We can, we uh, um, add the Docker file to the repository with all of the instructions required for configuring our environment. If you don't want to um, use or create the Docker image on your operating system. We can use GitLab CI for that. And we can configure the CI CD tool that GitLab provides for deploying, for, for building and pub publishing our Docker image directly to, to Docker Hub. And we can also configure, well, we can also schedule um, when, um, the building process will be executed, especially if you want to, to maintain our packages in, in the, well, on the rep, on the operating system that we are using for our Docker image updated. Um, well, we can use um, GitLab for that. And well, this is the repository that I that I created where that contains all, all the all of the configuration files that I mentioned during during the talk. 
So the, these are, uh, well, um, I am preparing a, um, a blog post about it that, that I, that it will cover uh, many details that um, weren't covered during this talk, but you can uh, check some of the blog posts that I already published. Um, I will share my, my slides uh, on Twitter uh, later uh, if you want to, to check uh, the content. But uh, after uh, doing all of these steps, you can have a um, visual environment ready for your Python project. If you don't want to run any um, instruction required for, uh, for cloning the, the repository of your project and configuring uh, the application so you can start working on, on your project and don't want to waste time um, configuring, you can use a, a shell script or any other pro provisioning tool for uh, running all, all of the instructions required for, for having your project ready and don't waste time on, on configuring your environment. And this is the repository that I created for, that contains all, all of the configuration files. So, you have um, some options for configuring your environment. You can use background with any of the, the tools that I mentioned. You can use background with VirtualBox if you decide to use that tool. You can use um, background with a Docker image. You can also use a Packer for building a custom background box for your environment. Well, uh, thank you so much for having here and you can find me on Twitter as Mario GNG. You can, uh, this is my website. You can, if, if you have any other question, um, you can send me an email here.